Hi Simon, great to meet up with you on the range on Saturday and do some work on your game. Uh, just regarding the work that you have been doing on your swing, and just to recap the session that we had, uh, first of all is we must understand ball flight better. It's the face angle that gives the ball its initial starting direction and the path of the club that bends the ball. So the ball's going to start in the general direction of the club face at impact and bend away from the direction the path is swinging. So what we need to look at is all the work we do needs to be to improve the way the club face and the path interact through impact. You did talk about a little bit of strain in the groin area on the left side and one of the things we talked about was this foot flow. We can see here quite square with the feet at set up as opposed to what we see within most stack and tilt swingers and that is a little bit more foot flow address. The foot flow encourages better rotation on the way back and a little bit better linear movement on the way through. So what we need to see is that left foot and the right foot turned out at about 15 degrees. We can see that as you go back you make quite a good pass at it, there's no problems going back. A touch of a sway there onto that outside or that right leg but then on the way down, we could do with encouraging a little bit more lateral movement. We can see as we come through impact there, that left leg bracing. And it all just looks a little bit strained. And it looks as though the feet are struggling to roll and move the weight around during the through swing. If we take a little look down here, bottom left, we grant weight. We're going to see a much more fluent footwork. And fluent leg action throughout the swing, not quite as much of a sway into that right side going back because he's able to turn his hips better because of the flow of the right foot and then the movement of the hips in the through swing is encouraged by the flow of the left foot which is going to allow the left side to rotate freely but the flow of the right foot also discourages too much rotation of the right hip through impact encouraging a little bit more linear movement with the hips on the way down. So flow the feet out, both sides of the ball, if we'll right and left foot flowed out to about 15 degrees. Then if we look at you from down the line, what I'm seeing is again, good backswing, but then as we come into impact, the tendency is to get a little bit stuck at this point. Now at this point here now, we don't really demonstrate or we don't really understand clearly what's going to impart the start, start direction and the spin or bend on that golf ball so we get a little bit betwixt and between and we don't really want to know what to do we're trying to throw the club head at it to release it and you can see the shoulders there they're opening up opening up quite quickly right forearm rotating over too quickly and really looks like a guy who's a little bit confused as to regards to what causes the ball to start and bend if we watch Charlie Weir as he comes to impact we're going to see a much quieter pass at it with the hands the right forearm not rolling over quite as early and certainly it impacts shoulders much squarer much more chest onto the golf ball than what we see with yourself as we're coming into impact right forearms rotated a little bit too early shoulders a little bit too open and just kind of stuck a little bit flat footed also so in order to, for you to improve this, what we discussed was controlling the move through the ball. So in other words, trying to create a little bit more of a quiet hand action, not throwing away this angle that I've just drawn on the screen too early. Your tendency as you're coming into the impact area is to try and rush to get the club head back to the ball. And you can see there that that angle you created at address has been lost. All good players lead with the handle. We want the shaft and impact leaning towards the target, not leaning away from it as we see in this footage here. So what we're trying to cultivate is a little bit more of what we see here from face on with Charlie Wee in regards to the relationship between the right forearm and the shaft of the golf club. You see the other hands getting much earlier right forearm shaft leaning forward this is going to discourage you from hitting the ground behind the ball encourage you to get a good strike on it but also improve your ability to continue to hit out at the golf ball because remember what we said during your lesson in regards to your ball flight we want the face to be slightly pointing slightly to the right 
so the ball starts slightly to the right but then we need to swing further to the right in order to bend the ball back so they have a few key points a little bit more foot flow lead more with a handle and aim up the right hand side good luck with it and i look forward to working with you again in a couple of weeks time well done